Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 20th of December, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Dominic of Silios. Saint Dominic of Silios was a shepherd who came to know God in the solitude of being a shepherd because the only thing around him were the sheep and the silence and in that silence he encountered God. He went on to become a monk at the Benedictine monastery at Saint Melian de la Cogola. Uh, later, as a prior there, he refused to part with uh, the possession of the monastery and give it to the king. So, as a result of which, the king uh, removed him and sent him to exile. Later, another king, King Ferdinand I of Old Castle, gave him the gave him the support to build another monastery and in this monastery there was real spiritual growth or the spirituality of the monastery took a new life. The monks were uh, producing under his inspiration a lot of Christian art, a lot of Christian books and uh, uh, the Latin rite, uh, many prayers and uh, the things were written during that time. It became a leading center of liturgy and that two-storied uh, Roman structure of that time still stands today. Uh, one of the most popular Spanish saint, Dominic of Silios, uh, he was very, very popular and he was considered as the patron of pregnant women. How? Uh, say, uh, blessed Jane de Gosman, uh, she was pregnant and she asked for the intercession of Saint Dominic Silios and when the baby was born, she named the baby after uh, Saint Dominic Silios and the name of the baby was Dominic de Gosman. Saint Dominic de Guzman, who went on to become one of the greatest founders of the Catholic Church, the founder of the Dominican congregation, or the orders of the preachers. So, dear brothers and sisters, and since then, since centuries, this this faith that people had, uh, this devotion that people had to Saint Dominic Silios just grew. And once it happened, when the uh, Turkish people, when the Islamists uh, took away some Spanish people, uh, through the intercession of uh, Dominic Silius, they were able to break open the prison and come out. So, he also became a patron to the prisoners in that way. So, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as we celebrate Saint Dominic Silius, one thing that I take home from him is that he came to know God in the silence of being a shepherd. No work is small and in every work I can encounter God. He encountered God as a shepherd, went on to become a monk and then a saint. Where do I encounter my God? Do I encounter, do I wait to get into the church, into the adoration chapel and then say, now let me spend time with God. He spent time with God while he was working as a shepherd, therefore he became a monk. So, today let me tell myself, whatever I am doing, I will do it in the presence of God, so that I will be led more and more closer to him. Amen.